This is the Capping TV Summer Brawl 2021. Thank you for tuning in to Capping TV. I'll run you through this mid and then I'll hand over to Lug Nuts to give me a bit of analysis. We do see Oz actually in very, very deep, nice and early, getting lots of stickies off. Bit of damage on the towel, bit of damage onto the demo man on the other team. That demo man overextends a little bit, a lot of damage goes into here. There's no frags yet, but the player's health is looking pretty poor on my anime list. They have had to back up a bit, but now they're coming back forward. They've got a bit of heals into them. They're able to start pushing. The demo man goes very, very low. But he gets an arrow and the first frag comes out. Stigma taking out Dip nice and early. Oz is down very low. He goes down as well. Stigma takes out the med. Sky going down. We see JD get minced as well. It's only Sheep and Memories and both of them have had to back up. Wow! That was dominant and they're going to be able to pull off a forward hold. Yeah, Sheep and Memories staying alive there definitely allowed their team to hold on for a lot longer than they potentially could have. Making sure to keep the players off them quite successfully. However, they just weren't able to contest my enemy list, pushing forward across the point, taking ground, taking position, and you know, just at the end of the day, they had to pull out, got disconnected, and their players got cleaned up for it. Yeah, and uh, for anyone who isn't, you know, in with uh, Team Fortress, a forward hold here is one of the hardest things to break, uh, because there's no way for you to really get out of the spawn without building an uber up uh, and wandering out while you're invulnerable. Uh, being forward holded here is sort of like... I, I can't come up with any safe-for-work analogies for it. <laughs> and we're not going to try. But however, one of the known ways of breaking this forward hold is using a pyro, which isn't in the arsenal today. So it is going to be definitely a pretty big challenge for them to get out of here. And maybe they'll try doing it with an uber charge on the right side. That looks what they're kind of planning on doing. Yeah, it does seem to be the idea. And they've soloed out on memories. They're making sure they get that full 8-second uber. They have cleaned up Joel, which means their players are free to wander on out without any real worry of getting absolutely minced. Stigma comes in for a big old bomb. Vivi cleaning up JD on the back end there. Stigma goes down in the middle of all that, which means that there's still a bit of room here to manoeuvre for the Outlaws. They are all down on very low health. Oz having to back right up lest he gets minced like, uh, like a cow, I suppose, and turns into a bollock maze. He goes down in the end. And we see a lot of scrappy fighting going on, but being Demo Man down here is a very dangerous spot to be in. Uh, especially when the other team still has their Demo Man up. It's a lot of damage that you don't really have an answer for. JD yeah. coming in for a fat old bomb onto that Demo Man. He manages to get him, and Dip goes down as well on the tail end there. A lot of fighting going on. Stigma came in for a bomb. He ended up going down. But it looks like the My Anime List fellas do actually hold the point here. And they've run the timer down to 45 seconds. This is not the worst situation, however, for Outlaws, as they have managed to get out of their spawn, so they are do have a chance to contest this point. And not just that, because this is the King of the Hill map, the fact that they don't have the point is actually beneficial for them, because that means that their spawners are coming in a lot faster, so every player trade is actually in their favour. Yeah, and with Oz getting a lot of ground here, the Ubers do get trade. He cleaned up the Demo Man for free, but... The My Anime List gamers got behind that Uber and cleaned up quite a few of the gamers. There's a lot of low people here. Dips down on nearly single digit health. He ends up getting an arrow, a clutch arrow from Sky there. Dip and Sky, the classic combo. Being able to, uh, Jesus, to hold off the scouts there and turn it around in their favour and start running the clock down for their team. Showing their skills not just on the trade plaza but in this cough map as well. <laughs> They've actually managed to get pull out of a really bad situation there as they went down so low. And if they died there, their slow spawns from capping that point would have spelled disaster for them. But instead, they managed to regain control and they are now picking up frags on this defense. Yeah, a fantastic defense with uh, Vivian Jolson actually bombing right on in trying to get a frag there. Oz did end up going down not to the uh, bomb and the attack there, but uh, he just, I think, got got caught just caught a bit much damage and uh they're able to push them straight back off this point here on the outlaws team uh and they keep running the timer down which is good with 16 seconds left they can't really afford to let these guys cap it even once because it starts getting too dangerous to push back but it looks like a bit of danger coming their way you see both of the scouts looking like they're ready for this uber to come out and with sheep going down stigma cleaning up that kill with a fat old rocket from the uh connectors area they're able to push straight forward. They used the Uber on the point, but their scout ran away from their medic. And now it's looking... Oh, it's looking poor. It's looking like a, an orphan. <laughs> uh, 
right, yes. Um, sure, I guess we'll go with that one then. Uh, not really looking too well for them, but do remember that every single frag they do manage to get is going to be in benefit of them because it takes a lot longer for any player on red to respawn than it does for players on blue. So that's why typically on this map at this stage we'd see things like sack waves coming out. They do have a minute left so they do have the time on my enemy list to just chuck players in until they get a result here. But we haven't seen them doing that so far. They've been relying on pretty controlled focus fire to take down players and get too far here. Yeah. And there's a lot of fighting going on. Joel and Vivi going down. We do see a big old bomb out of Stigma here. He catches a rocket and we've got a pause, which gives me just enough time to describe that I meant like an orphan in like a Dickens novel, not just like a fucking orphan. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Right. Sorry. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Ends in 30 seconds. Well, but... we, we do have the pause, probably for a player timeout or something like that. Uh, I mean... At this stage, looking at things, players on my enemy list are pretty low, but they did get Oz here, even for two players, which would typically be pretty bad in a new regular game. Those two players are going to spawn before Oz does, which is going to be pretty beneficial for them if they seek to really push this. Yeah, and uh, on my screen, the timer keeps running down. Just so everyone knows, when it's paused, the timer stops. But due to the way that the the, the, the viewing of this happened, we're on a bit of a delay. I think it's 90 seconds. So the round has probably ended in the meantime, and then they've paused after that. So we'll just have to see how it plays out when they unpause. It's, uh, it's a weird thing to wrap your head around, but it makes sense, you know? Yeah, I mean, definitely want, don't want any of the players sitting there watching each other's screens, you know, trying to check for spy flanks. Oh, weeks, there's no spy flanks. This is Summer Brawl. <laughs> That's a good point. The pause comes off, and we see a lot of ice skating players, but the ones that are moving are moving aggressively. They're able to hold this point here for as long as they need to. The, uh, the Outlaws fellas here just running the timer down further and further and further. We see that the My Anime List fellows are coming very, very forward in an attempt to turn this back around. Jolson going down, Stigma managing to clean up Sky though, which is a big, big pickup. Cleaning up the med there is so good for his team, because it means they can just play the heals here and run down the health on the other team. They have not capped the point yet though, which is dangerous for them. This could be a situation where they have deliberately delayed the capping the point to wait for their players to spawn. I'm not going to lie, I can't 100% know because my <laughs> overlay's not really working. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like Blue's Medic, Tal, actually dies on 98% Uber, which is absolutely crushing for them. Now they're forced to cap this point up, but they have now no Uber charge. Meanwhile, you do have something that's going to look like probably an Uber charge for Outlaws if they start building soon enough. Oh, look, with three seconds left on the clock, it's looking really dangerous. Outlaws just have to cap this with the Medic alone. No Uber Charge. They've lost two players. Dip Sheep, three players. JD going down. Memories going down. Oz going down. It's only Sky. He's running away from the point, which is not very productive. But uh, I don't think he would have any chance anyway. So the first round has gone the way of my anime list. Not mine. Theirs. Just, just clarifying. <laughs> Of course, the Captain TV fact checkers are currently attempting to locate a My Enemy List for Snazzy. However, at the moment, My Enemy List in the game has been doing really successfully, controlling the point how they want to. No sack waves yet from both teams, but now we're going into another mid. We'll see if anyone changes their play. Yeah, and we're seeing another slow start to the game. Both teams playing it very, very careful, trying to get a bit of damage off, but dips in very, very deep onto Tal. Cleans him up right at the start. There. Holy dill, what a fat, fat frag for his team. Oz does end up going down. Jolson hitting a big old midi on him. Joel goes down for his efforts, but Stigma does as well. And the Outlaws fellas are coming forward here. They've cleaned up four gamers, five gamers now. So it's only Tal who's spawned. He's got no one to heal. He's up, he's up Shrimp Creek, and he does not have a flipper. All right, I'm going to pretend I've heard that before and that I haven't heard that now. Uh, funnily enough, we're not seeing Outlaws attempting to do what was done to them and try to forward hold. Uh, looks like they're just happy sitting back, you know, sitting there with their Uber advantage, just waiting for my enemy list to come to them. Yeah, and my enemy list really kind of got minced there. Once they lost Tal, it seems really locked. Um, but they have sent a bit of a sack wave here. It looks like a four-man sack. It's pretty classic strategy on this map when you know you uh, your enemy has full uber. You send four people to try and get that med to force or die 
um, and you play back and just keep building your Uber up. It doesn't go too well for them, so all their players get cleaned up, and now you see Outlaws moving into a forward hold position, which is going to be absolutely painful. Crush oh! Whoa! Holy dooly! Outlaws cleaning up two players with one trap, absolutely pumping their ability to push in. JD on the far side, getting a lot of damage onto Riku. Riku? I don't know how to say. Close enough. I don't know how to say. But either way, there's a lot of fighting going on, and it does look like my anime list, not mine, theirs, have been able to push out of their point, uh, of their spawn, sorry, and get up to this point here. Oz being down is really bad for Outlaws here, but they do have the Uber, and it looks like they're getting ready to trade it, which they do. Big old fat solo on memories. I lied. Sheep came in on it as well, which means that both of those scouts are getting a little bit of a flash of that Uber. But it's looking a little bit better for my anime list. They've cleaned up two players on the tail end of this Uber for one in the other direction. Dip going down right on the tail end. It's now four players versus three players. My anime list with a little bit of an advantage, and I think they're going to turn it into a slightly better one. Clean up Oz here. Yes, sir. And that means they cap the point and start running time. Sure enough, managing to kill Oz there in both those situations has been really good for their anime list as they've managed to secure the fight while there's no demo, which just really helps them out. And if they can keep just focus firing on Oz here and keeping them out of these fights, that's just going to allow a big, big damage advantage for them. Even when players are flashing red or blue and there's invincible players, I mean, extra damage in space that they can cause is still a massive change to the fight. Absolutely. And Oz is eating damage for breakfast, lunch, and tea, mate. And tea. He is down on four Harry Potters. He does end up getting away. <laughs> but huge bomb from huge Dip. Huge bomb from Dip. Holy shit. Sorry, Oz, sorry. Yeah, massive bomb coming from Dip there, killing both the medic and, I believe, a soldier as well. I mean... That's going to be huge for them. They now managed to cap the point. Full uber advantage sitting here. That's going to be a massive time. They now have a minute they've got to hold this for. And do with full uber advantage. That's going to be at least 40 seconds off the clock before they even have to think of possibly giving this up. This is getting right down to the wire for yeah. their anime list. <laughs> the outlaws here are in such a good position. They have the time advantage. They're keeping on running it down. They have control of like most of the map despite playing on their side of the point, which is a strategy. Like, Jesus. Um, it's a strategy on this map. You can like spam them out before they even get it. And the Uber ad, which they have just used, they've come really forward with memories here. Memories getting quite a lot of damage and he kills Stigma, not a joke. And he kills <laughs> Jolson as well. Sheep coming in to help him out there. That has brought the Ubers into an ad for my anime list. There's actually. And, uh, <laughs> It means that they're going to be able to repush this point, probably with the Uber here. The timer is coming down to zero seconds on the point for the Outlaw. And they clean up Tau Dip with another fat bomb. Fat with a PH and a 4, not an FAT, you know? Yeah, I mean, Dog38 still going to try to find out what his actual alias is. Managing to sink two pipes across that mid, killing two players. Really beautiful shots there. Swing things around for his team. Now we have even over situation with them holding the point, but they have to hold it for two minutes. Meanwhile, Outlaws only has to cap the point once. Yeah, Outlaws have definitely put themselves in a spot here. Two minutes is a lot of time to play with, and they've already got a lot of ground here on this point. They're able to start edging the point not in a, a dirty way, like in a good way. <laughs> and they're edging that point, starting to get the cat going, without really even having to fight the enemy team. That said, my anime list, theirs technically, is coming on in and doing quite a lot of damage. And Stigma comes in, pops Oz up, pops him in the end. Oz goes down in the end to uh, a chip shot from his scout, stealing uh, Stigma's glory. But uh, <laughs> we see Dip coming in very, very deep. I think he's going to die for his effort. He does collect a pack. And we see another pause. Seems like there may be some pauses going on after rounds are being won, maybe for a little bit of strategy talks, because it doesn't seem like players are timing out here. But at the moment, this is going to be looking pretty daunting for their anime list, as they do have a scout down. Meanwhile, all of Red Team is bearing down on them. It is even Uber Ubers, so they do have time to sort of wiggle out of this. But I mean, the time is going to be ticking down for Outlaws. But if they can just... Go forward, frag the players, get better spawns, and they could be able to cap this point with little to no fanfare. Yes, absolutely. 
And uh, I did see someone ask in chat, is this leading to an offline tournament? Unfortunately not. Um, due to the COVID situation, we've had to put most of that sort of stuff on hold. Um, so not in this case, I don't believe. Maybe a studio broadcast. That would be nice. We're, we're talking about getting a couple of us together on camera. I won't be involved, which is cheerful for you guys, because you don't want to see this ugly mug. Yes, unfortunately, most of the community doesn't want to be blinded, so no snazzy <laughs> on the camera, thank God. But uh, Lenses you know. are expensive. I can't sit in front of them for too long. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Especially how many times... You must go through a lot of monitors when if you turn it off, get the black screen, the massive cracks through it, of course. <laughs> They spiral out from like wherever my nose is placed on the screen. They just, you know, <laughs> very unfortunate having to sit three feet back from your desk just to make sure you know <laughs> you still have room for the <laughs> massive snows. I'm sure. I actually angle them up so I never catch myself in the reflection. But we're getting off topic. <laughs> the time is looking really good for um the uh, what do you call them? bloody? Uh, yes, one of the team. Uh, uh, in case anyone is actually just joining us now, the times on the top, zero and zero, are not correct. There is about a minute and a half left for uh, their anime list that they have to hold on for uh, before they actually win it. It's just there is a pause going on at the moment, which has just in fact ended, Snazzy. Yes, it has in fact ended, so if you want to reconnect and fix your HUD while you wait, the Uber has come straight on out from my anime list, theirs technically, and they've come very, very deep into the, uh, the other side of the map. The Uber does come back from the other side, Sky using his, and they've got a lot of time on this point now. Holy dooly, they got it like half capped. They're able to get a lot of forward momentum going, but the My Anime list, there's technically, fellas are able to come through and clean up a couple of gamers right off the bat. Turn it back around, they're gonna keep running the time down. The anime list defense here has been really solid, getting those frags, holding on to the point. Now, slight uber advantage again with 30 seconds left. This is going to be looking right down to the wire for Outlaws. They've got to want to take this absolutely, especially since there's a three wound win limit and they already have a wound lost to their anime list. This is going to be a desperation play now. It absolutely is going to be down to the wire. With 10 seconds left on the clock, it's getting very, very dangerous for the Outlaws. They're all very, very low. My enemy of this, theirs technically, use their Uber and they're able to come forward, clean up Oz. They're going to clean up a scout on the point. Sky's coming forward. He goes down. No Uber on the side of Outlaws now. And the round goes the way of my, their anime list. Two rounds in their favour now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is now going to be looking pretty good for them. Something's got... Whoa. Okay. That was the pause. Right, okay. So it seems, yeah, something happened to one of the enemy team soldiers, but the pause is... That was the pause. Pause now over. Soldiers back. But that is going to give a lot of space to the anime list now for taking control of this point. And they have definitely spare wasted no time in getting as much ground as they can. Looks like they're going to take down Oz as well. Just going to further cement their hold on this point. Absolutely. And they're able to cap this more or less for free. Dip did come in for a bit of a bomb, but he goes down for his effort. There is a Joel down and a Stigma down on the side of... Uh, I'm just going to call them Mal for now. And uh, it looks like Outlaws are very, very keen to just keep fragging. They've killed quite a few of the uh, Mal gamers. And uh, they're able to sort of get out, including the med. Very well done from uh, Sheep and Memories there. They're able to get out more or less for free. And uh, they're able to start turning the cap down uh, on... Uh, on the enemy team. Yeah, absolutely. From the dumps to now victory, this is going to be a really good feeling for Outlaws because they had that little problem at the start, but just a little bit of overextending, not really careful play from Mal, getting them just cleaned up there, and now uber advantage for Outlaws as they hold this point. Sorry, I was reading the chat, so now I'm having a laugh. <laughs> um, the team's name is my anime list. <laughs> That's a quote. Not mine. Theirs, technically. <laughs> anyway, point is that uh, Outlaws have a huge Uber ad here, and they're able to hold this point. They haven't actually used the Uber aggressively, which I personally probably would have done, but uh, they're able to keep running time down, and time is really all that matters on these maps. I mean, King of the Hill maps, you just want to run that timer down. It doesn't really matter what else happens. You run that timer, you win. Yeah, absolutely, and they are pretty successful in running the timer. They now have under two minutes on their clock. The Uber has come first out of Mal, 
but it is being exchanged by outlaws and so far no real frags so looking kind of quite of an even fight here which does not favor mal very much yeah mal are looking like they're not doing super great in this uber they do end up uh, cleaning up a couple of gamers oh no just sheep sorry my bad so it just looks awful for them. outlaws are able to keep running that time down they even end up with a tiny bit of uber ad um and they almost were able to clean up a few more gamers and turn it into a forward hold which would have been really really bad but not so bad now yeah definitely even ubers again i mean mal hasn't managed to unseat them from this point now a minute left for outlaws it's got to be looking pretty good for them have a jd going down is an opportunity <laughs> oh my dooly so there was uh wait hold on Oh, I What's see. JD, J JD was swapped JD's over man. to Medic, and Sky was swapped over to Scout, and Sheep was swapped over to Soldier. Right. That was the cause of the pause, I'm guessing. That would be the cause of the pause, and JD going down is especially awful when he's Medic, catching a pipe from across the map. I mean, it happens sometimes, but oh dear. And now you got to be really scared of your outlaws because you've been in this situation before with the Mal and they came out the better of it. What are you going to do new this time? You're going to have to get a much more aggressive, be much more willing to trade those players and abuse those spawns to try to get your time back on the point. Yeah, I mean, they do still have a little bit of an ad here, so if JD can keep on building that one up, I think they'll be able to turn it around. Dip does go down. Vivi actually getting the kill credit on that one. And Ryuku, the other scout... Did I say it right this time? I think I did. Close Managed enough. to clean up uh, Sky as well, so that means that the uh, combo's gone down. They've lost a soldier and a scout. <laughs> and I don't think they're going to get any Another chance to use that. Another across the map, killing JD. That's the second one. And that's just going to be crushing for Outlaws. It's now, again, Mal just going to be sitting here, whittling away time on the point. Massive Uber advantage. So far, nothing's on I, um... I'm feeling really bad for JD here, man. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like your mouth's full of that a little bit there. Right, I'm just feeling really bad for JD here, man. It, it was my dry throat, like I'm on the verge of tears. <laughs> Alright, absolutely. I mean, we're going to have to pull one out from at the end of this one. He has not been having the best game on Medic since he swapped. <laughs> oh, my lord. Um, in any case, uh, I think the fighting is still going to keep on happening here. It looks like the Outlaws fellas, knowing that uh, it's a relatively even Uber. Oh, it's actually doing the same thing to tell. A pipe from across the map deletes him. And that means that uh, the Outlaws fellas here are able to push forward more or less for free, knowing that they have that heal out. There's nothing that uh, their anime list can really do to uh, stop it from happening. Yeah. Absolutely. Now with 30 seconds left, things are going to be looking for this for team. They have Uber Disad. One player this had who's come back up, but 30 seconds, they've got to take this fight right now. They cannot wait for that Uber to be built, which means they're just going to take a dry fight into a full Uber team. Not the best situation to be in. It's an awful situation to be in, with 13 seconds left on the clock and the timer running down every second now. All that Outlaws needs to do is use into the players here, which they are getting ready to do. Vivi goes down, the Uber gets used, they're in nice and deep. They, uh, they're able to back off onto the point. They clean up these two soldiers on the point. Yes, sir, they do. And that is probably it. Ryuku and his medic are there trying to fight, but they did not get there in time. And that is around the other way. There we go. First round on the board for Outlaws. Every 60 seconds here, a minute is passing, and these teams are fighting over every single second. It's coming down pretty close to the wire. Really, really close rounds here. We'll see what comes up in this minute. Yeah, and with no off-classes available, these teams are playing it nice and slow. No one really wants to sack right in and try to come up on Snipe. Looks like the Demo Man overextends a little bit. Sky able to get the kill credit on that one. Both of the soldiers for their anime list come right in. The loot three player. It is only JD, Dip, and Sheep. Looks like Sheep and JD are bailing out. Dip gets deleted on the rear end, and the point will be captured for their anime list. Yeah, and that was, that was clinical, you know, that, that spam, funneling them behind Rock, and then just Stigma and Jolson jumping in there and deleting half the enemy team just to crushingly take the point. Of course, they're not going to be able to take the forward hold off this since they didn't get that much of an advantage, which is going to allow an opportunity for Outlaws to come back, and they do with the pipe onto Dog38. 
Yeah, Dog38 going down there. That means the demo man, the main damage deal is down. And Oz is trying very hard to clean up Tal again. Tal ends up using his Uber Vivi, getting a frag on the sky. Almost cleaning up Oz with a clutch flash from JD to keep him alive. It doesn't look like the Outlaws fellas are going to be able to keep fighting here, though. Dip does come straight on in on a bomb. His team's there to support. Dip cleaning up Tal with his pal there, Memories. That was a tongue twister. And uh, Vivi coming through. Cleaning up a couple of gamers here. Mal Dog 38 coming through. Two big frags. Taking out uh, the Demo Man and the Medic. Uh, right I, off the back of spawning, that was cool. I think the Osfort sorry, the Capital TV fact finders have informed us that Dog38 is in fact Bitvault. So Bitvault. a little bit of confusion has gone missing now. And yeah, we'll see if that if the cast is knowing his name is gonna impact his gameplay. Uh, it shouldn't, but Bitvault is very good at the game. So that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, so far again, even Uber situation, point being held by Outlaws, time advantage on the side of Mal, and they do get really aggressive into this, with Oz taking so much damage there, but some aiming to survive it, which is going to allow them to hold on to this point for just a little bit longer. Yeah, and they're running this time down, it's 150 versus 220 something, you know, um, <laughs> the two and that's, easily. it's pretty close, 220 something, yeah. Yeah, I don't think something is quite a measure of time, but close enough for our purposes here, if not for the teams. Two player, two frags on the side of Outlaws, Miami Melis going two down, and the Medic dying on 99% Uber to a real oh. machine. <laughs> That's going to be crushing for them. That's going to allow not just an equalization for a time, but now a time advantage on the side of Outlaws. This is going to be looking like for them, and not, you know, they're going to be really confident about taking this to another round. Yeah, it seems like Outlaws have really found their pace here with uh, maybe with these class switch ups or something. Either way, they figured out what they're trying to do here, and Oz cleaning up a scout right on the beginning of that push there. Might even the odds a little bit when Sky dies on the point there. Oz actually goes down though, Bitvolt getting a fat sticking onto him. Dip does clean up Vivi, but uh, Bitvolt gets another frag right onto the other scout. Memories going down will secure the point for the side of their anime list. Yeah, for sure. And this is going to be looking now pretty, pretty scary for Outlaws. Again, 1 minute 30 on the clock for Mal. They've shown they're good at holding this, you know. However, they don't have that uber advantage. And they have used really quickly onto Oz. They can clean up Tal here. This is going to be looking really good for them. Regardless, they should be able to take care of this point. With Dipper starting to cap it up. Yeah, I mean, they're starting to cap it up. But the soldiers are in there. JD goes down. He gets minced by a rocket and a scout. There are three players left alive on the Outlaws team, but none of them can really fight. Dip tries to jump in and gets almost immediately minced by Vivi doing the uh, the classic scout game of anti-aircraft gun. It's uh, my favorite role in Team Fortress. Yep, absolutely beautiful. Luckily, no force of nature here, so the anti-aircraft is not shooting them into the moon and instead just killing them. But still, another uber advantage for Mal. Solid hold on this point. You gotta be sweating for Outlaws. One more win and Mal take this map. Give 30 seconds for Outlaws to turn this around with something. Yeah, and uh, they have turned it around. It looks a little, not a lot. Once Dip spawns, I think they might be able to do something. They have this huge Uber at about 30%. It's looking like they're trying to take some fights here. JD's getting very deep, but Bitvolt is able to just put three stickies at his feet, delete him and then move on with his life, which was not very long-lived because he died immediately. But it's looking really good for the their anime list fellas. Oz is still alive on four health. He's still fighting. He's still trying for it. He ends up going down for his efforts, but he did create a lot of mayhem on the side of uh, their anime list there. He kept running it down. It is overtime for them here. One minute 30 left on the clock for Outlaws. If they even cap this, it's looking slim for them. There is about a third of the cap left, and it goes down very quickly in overtime here. Dip is in, and the round is over. It is three rounds to their anime list, and they have won the game. And that's it for Outlaws. 3-1 going the way of Mal. The Weebs have made another victory <laughs> so far in this division. Uh, luckily, they don't get a chance at the prize pool, so we're all safe from them. But instead, you know, they've got to be filled pretty good. That's the Koth round at the end of things, the end of round six i guess that is 
and yeah, they've taken their victory over Outlaws. Yeah, and what a hard-fought victory it was. Outlaws were really doing their best to uh, turn that one back around in their direction. We'll have a quick look at these here lows and see how it goes. And we can definitely see why Oz is being focused so hard by Mal, topping the damage, 421 DPM. Of course, Bitvolt close behind with 395. But, I mean, one thing you do see right here is Oz with 25 deaths, most on the server. He definitely was getting very hard focused, and he took just as much damage as he dealt, 421 damage taken per minute <laughs> as well. So, Dude, I mean, yin and yang. Yin and Yang, for sure. I mean, he took the perfect balance to create the perfect gameplay, obviously. <laughs> he must have. But I do want to say, memories far and away the top in terms of kill count. 31 for 16, uh, with 13 assists as well. That's a lot of participation in this game, man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Oz and Memories were doing a lot of work for their team, of course. As we saw, every time Oz was taken down, that was a massive opportunity for Mal to move forward. And Memory's just trying his best, getting as many frags as he could in between the gaps. Yeah, I mean, but even with those two standout players, you see when you saw it by kills, for instance, you can see Memories is at the top, followed by every player on their anime list. All of them were towards that top end. They were just outclassing, I think, as a whole. The other team, uh, Outlaws, were just getting pumped a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even with those two players right on the top, we have a total of 106 kills to 90 for, for their anime list and 4, 41,933 damage. Numbers are difficult, Snazzy. Please don't judge me. No, no, for I know. For their anime list compared to 40,976. So they did have the frag and the damage edge, as we do see pretty heavily there. Going over the heal stats, though, I mean, we've got JD and Sky with the two medics, four outlaws, and, you know, six six charges for Sky, five charges for JD. That's 11 total, same as on the enemy team. Uh, pretty decent heals overall. And, you know, in general, just, I guess, pretty, pretty close stats, to be honest. Even though when you do sort by kills, when you do sort by damage, there is that big chunk of those players. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely an interesting game. I think my anime list really sort of played that uh, that map just a little bit better. Um, you could see that Outlaws were trying really hard to sort of like play the point whenever they had it. But I think that uh, they sort of lost a couple of opportunities where they could have like pushed forward uh, and killed a few players on the, the my anime list team. Uh, well, their anime list, technically. And, um, One day you're going to stop making that joke. It's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was just a very interesting game, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've seen a lot of pro games here, but going down to the bit, we see here that we can just... Let me try that one more time. <laughs> We've seen a lot of pro games here, and it has been some really interesting games, definitely out of the pro scene. And going down to Intermediate, we can see there's still kicking down there, still some really interesting stuff going on. 